Hey, what's up, guys? Sam from Cubine Studios here back again. This time we're going to be taking on Divac. Divac. The dude with the stripes coming down his face. And his Berserk Gorilla deck. We have moved on to now the Laval. Laval? Lava Lol. Lava L. Laval deck. Holy shit. I think that's how you say it. We're just going to run with that. That's going to be how we say it. Laval. Laval deck. Now, as usual, this deck is the level DLC, but with some minor adjust adjustments, something more fitting to my taste. Uh, I've adjusted it with, like I've added Marshmallow and a couple other things amongst that. I added Swords of Revealing Light, things like that. I don't know what the hell he's doing with Closed Forest. All Beast-type monsters, gotcha. I don't think I've got a Field-type card, so I think that's just going to stay out in perpetuity. So what do we got here? This is a Sacrifice, so I don't want him. This is also a sacrifice. Oh, I can summon this, though. You can normal summon this card without tributing. If you do during the end phase, send it to the graveyard. Oh, eh, not really. Send it when this card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished fire monsters. I don't have one of those yet. Or twice per turn, you can send one fire monster from your hand to the graveyard and inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Different names, you can special summon that. If this card is sent to the graveyard for synchro summon, you can special summon this card. Cool. So, looks like I'll be summoning him. Because I don't want him to just be dead. Destroy is on the field and destroy. Okay, so we're gonna summon him and just hope I can take out whatever's in defense position. Now, do you raise the defense? No. Okay, so that's up to twice per turn. I don't really want. Well, a 500 is quite a bit, but no, I don't want to do that yet. Let's see what we got going on here. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna leave this for now. I know that he's going to probably synchro summon something, but for now I'm going to leave this and hold on uh, Swords of Revealing Light. Maybe I should have do done that. Ape Fighter. Gains 300 attack. So that's going to become a problem quickly. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here's the synchro summon that I expected. We do have one lava monster in the graveyard now. I need three. Z-Man the Ape King. Interesting. This card attacks. Your opponent cannot activate any spell or trap cards until the end of the damage step. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can select that monster and send one monster from your hand to the side of the graveyard to negate the attack. Interesting. So let's send... Who should I send to the graveyard? This card is normal. So nah. You currently control gain. Oops. This card destroys it. I don't have anything that does stuff. I guess. From the graveyard. So who are we going to send? Let's just send the two, the cannoneers. Let's just send two of the cannoneers, I think. Because those are safe ones to uh, send to the graveyard right now. And then I can do some special summoning. Right? We have three or more lava monsters with different names. Fuck. They don't have different names. They are all the same, actually. Shit. So that was a total waste. Okay. Should have paid attention to that. You can normal summon this card without tributing. And I don't think you can kill that anyway. Banished fire monsters. That so I don't have any banished monsters. If you, hmm. So we're gonna have to play Swords of Revealing Light here for sure. We need a delay. Uh, if you've... tuner, and then another tuner. We're gonna set this for now, and then see if we can get something in motion next turn by doing a little synchro summoning. I do have Swords of Revealing Light still. So I don't think he can attack. Manticore of Darkness. Yeah, no. Okay, so I still have time to build something decent. Hey, Marshmallow. Um, let's flip you. Let's summon you. Wait. Do you have three more monsters? Nah, because it's not that powerful. I want to summon this without tributing and see if I can do a synchro summon now. Yes, I can. What can I summon? You. When this card is synchro summon, send one card from your hand to the graveyard. During either player's turn, when this card is targeted, you can banish your grid to gate the activation if you do destroy the targeted card. Cool. So I just send something from my graveyard. It'll probably be the lava burner. Yeah, it's gonna be burner. This is gonna be an interesting deck to try and win with, mostly because I'm teaching myself it as I go. And I'm just really hoping for the best. We're gonna send you. And I can now special summon you in defense position for now. 
remember this fact. If this card attacks, your opponent cannot... When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can select that monster and send one to negate the attack. Okay, so it just negates the attack. It doesn't kill him. Oh, and I can banish a monster to negate the activation and destroy that target. Cool. It does need a slight power-up to be able to kill that. And I just actually powered it up a little bit more. We're gonna work something out, though, to get rid of that. Okay. So now it's back on the field. That sucks. Hmm. Or I can just sacrifice the Ape King Synchro Monster. This is more powerful. What the... What did it do that for? I need... Okay. I need to figure out what the hell it just did that for. During the end phase of this turn, this card was sent to the graveyard. You can send one... Special summon this card from your graveyard. Why did it do that? Is what I want to know. And this card is you can target one of your banished lava monsters. Special summon the target. Oh. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any banished. So I can't use that effect. I can summon it still, though. And then get another Synchro out. Which would be nice. Uh, who should I get out? Oh, cool. When this card is Synchro, someone send one card from your hand to the graveyard. This card would be destroyed by a card effect you can banish instead. Once per turn, you can add one full monster from your deck to your hand, and then send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. What do you have for me? During battle between this attacking card and a defense position monster, whose defense inflicts the difference is battle damage. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Because I can kill that and raise its attack. This is the most useful effect. Also, I don't really want to discard Marshmallow just in case things go south here. Because again, I am a novice to the Love All deck. Lavel deck. So, I don't want to be too outrageous here. Boom, and you get that stat boost. There we go. Now it's a 2400, so it's a, it's a pretty competent. Competent, not confident. I'm confident, but that is a competent monster now. And Devak is in some serious trouble because he keeps summoning stupid monsters over and over again. I think he just conceded the duel there. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure this is over. No. Because these have... What is this? No effect? Or no attack? Something just fell over in my kitchen. I don't like the sound of that. Because I live alone. So why anything would be falling in the kitchen beyond me? Anyway. <laughs> uh... Okay, we're just going to keep playing and hope for the best. Uh, where was I at here? Okay, so you're going to do the dip. You have zero defense. Oh, so no, I just win. Okay. Well, I'm going to set Marshmallow just in case, but I think I just win. I think the AI conceded. I think that's what happened there. I'm going to let you destroy this in defense position so you get the attack boot buff. Just in case he's got something up his sleeve here. And now I'm going to win the duel. GG. Thanks for playing. Wow, I think this is an okay deck. I played it rough, but I still won. Here is the Berserk Gorilla. If this card is in face of defense position, destroy this card. This card must attack if able. That doesn't sound good. That sounds really bad, actually. Final Psychic Ogre. This card destroys an opponent's monster by battle. You can pay 800 life points to select one psychic type monster of your graveyard at your hand. Okay. Elemental hero, boring, rare gold armor, boring, rock, ogre, grotto number two. Sucks. Ancient gear drill, have that. Everyone knows what that is. Whiptail crow, another card that sucks. Gear free the sword master, that's interesting. Must be some special summon with release restraint, which I more than likely don't have. And something, something. Worm drake, also sucks. Glad I got that one. Holy shit, we're actually on a roll here lately in Millennium Duels. The last couple have actually just crushed people. Here we've got Roman and his Earthbound deck, like the NES game. Get it, that was a joke, and that's funny. Double cost, and I'm pretty sure I already have, so it's not even going to be a cool reward. He also looks a lot like Devak. I know they're not related. Or maybe they are. I don't remember. I know Roman is related to the main bad guy, who's the dude with the long white hair and also is portrayed as a good guy. I forget his name right now, but we'll eventually duel him, I'm sure. Um, 
He normally has a spider deck, which I think is better than an earthbound. Well, it probably is not better than an earthbound deck. Earthbound is actually probably pretty hard. Yeah, but that's all I got. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, you guys. I would appreciate that if a couple more of you did that so I could be tweeting at you. Be sure to comment below how you feel. I know a lot of people seem to not like these shorter videos, so let me know your feedback. Because uh, I'm really not sure how I can make these videos longer if I just win right away. Uh, yeah. But above all else, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you around. Bye.